Hello and welcome, I'm Arumba. Thank you for joining me. Let's play more of our Swedenavia campaign in Victoria 2. Alright, the very next research we do has to be... has to be naval bases, because our naval bases are finishing right now. Over the next couple weeks, we're starting to see the first few naval bases, level 2 naval bases, come in. This is going to raise, I think, both our, our supply throughput, and it's also going to raise our colonial power. I think level 1 bases add 30, and every upgrade adds 20. Yep, and as these things get complete, we're getting lots of extra naval supply. And it's time then to start building tons of ships. Now, I think I'd like to actually look this up real quick. Uh, Victoria 2... Um, Colonization, colonial power, that's what it's called. Just real quick. Colonial power. That's not the one that I wanted. That's weird. I remember seeing one where I had like a, there was like a table. Okay, well, commerce raiders provide 8, monitors provide 10. What I'm looking for, though, is the amount that it provides per, per 1. I know the commerce raider provides 8, which is pretty good, but um, it's not the best. Because you got to factor in the actual supplies weight of 3. So it's providing 8 divided by 3. And then if the Mana War is only 2 supplies weight, but the Mana War provides 5, that would mean 5 divided by 2 is 2.5, and 8 divided by 3 is 2.6. So we would want to make the Commerce Raiders over the Mana of Wars. I think it's the Ironclads that are the best, actually. But okay, we're just going to make Commerce Raiders. Now we're making Commerce Raiders in Africa now. Building them everywhere. You know what? Build it. Just build an absolute metric ton of them. Wait. No, no, no. That's bad. I forgot. I forgot that they take three units each. We don't want to go over the supply limit. Just cancel them all for a second. There we go. And why'd you wait till the very last second to tell me? 23 times 3 is going to be like 60. Alright. Whatever, just wait. The, the, it's going to keep going up as the naval bases get complete anyway, so... I guess I should just build as, much, as many as I can. Now, our goal is to definitely get enough points that we can turn this into a state. If we can get 1143 colonial power, we can turn Iceland and Greenland into a colonial state, and that'll free up more points. We can go crazy in eight years with colonization. That's part of the reason why I raise taxes. We need just tons of money for all these ships. We also need tons of money to upgrade to level 3 uh, ports. Level 3 naval bases. It costs 32,000 apiece. I think someone's lowering my opinion with Persia, and I'm not getting pop ups about it. Alright, Persia's friendly, right? I'm not crazy. Let's just wait and see. I had changed some message settings around. Naval bases. Hmm. 
And yeah, look, machine, machine parts factory, that's, that's mine, but still. That'll be done soon-ish. Nice. 250. Need more. And there was a couple naval bases that were only level 1. Yeah, okay. Ottomans just dropped us down. Like over here, I think I just built level 1. Let's do this one. Yay, it's a new election. I can't wait for stupid events to pop up. Alright, I can do something with Persia. Now we've been discredited. It's annoying. I think I'm getting attacked by two people. The Ottomans and the Russians are both trying to mess with Persia. Oh well. How strong, how much, how valuable is Persia? 1.6 million. Might be easier just to focus on South America and ignore them. If they're going to cause so many issues for me. And they both border him, so I think that that gives them even more influence than I can have. Got eight years, seven years of preparation ready. Still available. We can't go higher than level 3 naval bases, so we want to have every single possible state with naval bases. Just believe whatever the hell you want to believe. I don't... I don't care! I don't want to influence you! I just... I abstain. Damn influenza. So these ones... We are not building all of them. My guess is that the commerce raiders, which require a lot of stuff, just aren't getting all of it. So we want to start piling them out as often as we can, just, just basically non-stop production. And down here, you need to get expanded. There's one more place. Mostly sure. I think it was this island? No, that's level two. Oh, it was up here. There we go. Keep on getting this influenza, it's really annoying. Whatever. You're wrong. 94.43%. Messes up with my budget. Changes probably my factory subsidies. Yep, can't subsidize factories, so no, you voted wrong. I'm going to lower tariffs a little bit. It's going to make us a lot less money, but... Maybe our guys will be a little bit more competitive. Maybe the factories will do better. 22% profitability there. 20%. 27, 28, 30, 35, 40... 40% profitability there. 
for a little while on the glass factory. There's not enough coal on the market to satisfy factory input needs. Alright, so does that mean... What, what is in high demand? Like, how does that work again? I can't produce enough coal. Current stockpile of coal is 32. Demands 37.94. So you're saying in trade then, for coal... We produce 28, and we need more than that. Well, I knew one of these days I was going to have to start doing like the clean coal research. Cheap iron, cheap steel. Like, we got to knock these out too. But, level 3. This is very nice. This is a historic day. Don't worry, poor people. All your taxes are going to be well spent. This got unlocked three years ago, and I didn't do it. Crap. Gotta do that one first. Alright, naval bases. This is pretty much the last time we have to do this kind of not fun. Go through and click on every single state's naval base. Oh, can we build a naval base up here? No, that, that counts down there. That one we'll have to come back to. Expand you, expand you. That one we gotta come back to. And we're out of money. And there was one here as well that needed to go to level 2. So there's three that I'm gonna need to go through and do again. Like, militancy is such a non-issue that I don't even really care about it. Wow, look at that debt! <laughs> Going into debt, building all this stuff. That's crazy. What's this thing? Motala Werkstad was founded in 1822 during the building of the Gotha Canal. Oh, cool. Free prestige. It's not bad. We'll take it. Okay, so can we get more clerks? Might be about that time to change over the focuses. How are we doing on, like, reading? Southern Finland? They're, they're learning how to read. 23%. It takes time. Northern Finland, 25%. The Africans can read better than the Finns. Crying out loud. But we've got 4% clergy here. Once you get to 4%, I think it pretty much shuts off promotion, even if you focus it. Yeah. So there's no point in doing these. You are already at 4%. You are already at 4%. That puts us probably over at 2.65% of the population now. Let's stop doing capitalists. Let's do... Um,
One is promoting to a clerk. It's already very likely that they promote to clerks. Clergyman is at least 3.6%. Increases the likelihood of clerks, apparently. It's just, it's very likely. I think the best way to increase the number of clerks, though, is just going to be to increase the number of craftsmen. So we're going to encourage craftsmen. Because the, the larger the number of people that are craftsmen, the more we'll promote to clerks anyway. So, it's fine. Okay. Man, these things are coming, popping up pretty quick here. We have universal vote in 1863. That's right. Women, children, blacks, whites. We don't care. Everyone, get, everyone gets to vote. It doesn't say anything about kids, but it's funny to me to think that it's allowing kids to vote. Okay, just queue up more commerce traders. 33 more commerce traders being built. Alliance offer from Brazil. You want to be friends now, huh? Cool. We'll support that. Yeah, it looks like I'm probably not going to be able to get Persia back. Russia. Oh! Oh, Russia's just declared war. Interesting. The Russian liberation of Northern Finland. They've brought in the United Kingdom. Prussia is helping. We are the war leader, though. Brazil's on our side. All right. Well, this certainly just got a lot more interesting. Let's raise the maintenance all the way. Um, tax the middle class. To support it. We're down to about 50% or so here. Full military spending, full education spending. Um, you know what? Tax the middle class all the way. Let's be debt free for our war. And, uh. Supplies 43. I'm going to check out some numbers. So you have 113 brigades, Army Tech 8, 25% tactics. We have far fewer brigades, Army Tech 8, 50% tactics. I did not get a chance to knock out very many military techs here. Um, I've been building commerce raiders, but let's just hope that Prussia kicks, kicks the Russians, you know, beats them up. Most of my ships are down here. I can carry 18 weight, and a lot of my troops are still down here. But if we're at war with Great Britain, and they've got land down here, let's go siege that. Okay, alright, I'm going to take a break here. Next video, we're going to fight Great Britain. It's going to be interesting. Thanks for watching, everyone. See you soon.